What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about AMC. We've got a lot of different pieces of news to cover in this video, so make sure you guys stick around until the end so you're up to date on everything going on with this massive potential short squeeze situation uh, occurring with AMC. So we're going to be going over the failed to deliver numbers, which are going to be very important. There's some very interesting key pieces of this failed to deliver report that we're going to go over. We're going to explain exactly what this is and what my opinions are on it and exactly how I think this is going to affect AMC going forward. We're also going to cover this massive 500 million share potential offering that has caused a significant sell-off in AMC. Now, at the current time that I'm recording this video, AMC is down about 9%, and this news has been wildly misrepresented in the media. So we're going to go over exactly how this is affecting AMC, how it could affect it in the near future, and exactly why they might want to do one of these five hundred million share offerings right now. So before we get into all of that information, if you guys would like to earn those two free stocks with Webull, which is the brokerage that I use on screen in all of my videos, these free stocks are valued up to $1,850. It's basically free money. All you have to do is set up an account, deposit over $100, and you get those two free stocks. Now, it's a great way for you guys to help out the channel if you guys would like as well, because when you guys get your two free stocks, I also get a free stock. And if you guys enjoy the information and analysis, that I provide for you in these videos, make sure you go down and hit that like button. And if you never want to miss any one of these new videos that I put out, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So let's get into this failure to deliver situation, but just so that everybody knows what we are talking about and can understand the remainder of this video, we need to go over exactly what these numbers are going to represent. So failure to deliver refers to a situation where one party in a trading contract, whether it's shares, futures, options, or forwards contracts, does not deliver on their obligation. Such failures occur when a buyer, the party with a long position, does not have enough money to take delivery and pay for the transaction at settlement. A failure can also occur when the seller, the party with a short position, does not own all or any of the underlying assets required at settlement and so cannot make the delivery. So failure to deliver is critical when discussing naked short selling. When naked short selling occurs, an individual, an individual agrees to sell a stock that neither they nor their associated broker possesses and the individual has no way to substantiate their access to such shares. Essentially, when you're naked short selling, you need the company that you're doing this on to go completely bankrupt because it's going to be extremely difficult for you to close your position. Now, a lot of people have been misrepresenting the failure to deliver numbers for AMC on the internet and I want to be able to clear that up for you guys. So we can see that in this highlighted section, fails to deliver on a given day are a cumulative number of all fails outstanding until that day, plus new fails that occur on that day, less the fails that settle that day. The figure is not a daily amount of fails, but a combined figure that includes both new fails on the reporting day as well as existing fails. In other words, these numbers reflect aggregate fails as of a specific point in time and may have little or no relationship to yesterday's aggregate fails. Thus, it is important to note that the age of fails cannot be determined by looking at these numbers numbers. In addition, the underlying source or sources of the fails to deliver shares is not necessarily the same as the underlying sources of the fails to deliver shares reported on the day prior or the day after. So let's take a look at exactly what these numbers are. So we can see that these are going to be the settlement dates. So this is going to be March 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, all the way through March 12th. And we can see that there were a lot of fails to deliver. Um, and this is going to be essentially the way we need to interpret this is the total amount uh, that is occurring. So we can see that the number of actual uh, fails to deliver at uh, March 12th is going to be 31,276. Now, I want to mention something to you guys. Um, I was looking all over the internet to see where uh, and how fails to deliver are reported. Is it automatic? They just go into the system. The market is able to figure it out on its own. Or is it like the short interest that we have been talking about and it's just self-reported? Now, so naked short selling has kind of been kept under the rug and it's been occurring a lot um, in these dark pools over the past couple of months. So in my opinion, I don't really think that these numbers that have been uh, put out by the SEC are completely accurate. If we are seeing price run-ups in AMC, um, 
and these shorts are, are getting forced to cover and they're failing to deliver because they can't because they don't have uh, the cash or the shares in possession, uh, this would be a lot different of a situation. Now, in a theoretical sense, there is a way if you are naked short selling to avoid these this failure to deliver problem. And I want to uh, show you guys exactly how that would work. So if we come over to the option chain for AMC, if you are naked short selling, what you could do is you could buy up a bunch of these deep in the money strikes for AMC. And if the stock price goes up a significant amount, you can exercise your deep in the money positions to uh, actually cover the short. But I was looking at these option chains for AMC and I was expecting to see if that was the case that was occurring to see a lot of open interest in the tens of thousands on each one of these strikes that are in the money on all of these uh, decently far out dates. And we can see for the monthly expiration date for May, there is a super small open interest in a super small volume. Now, when we come out to June, which is actually uh, gonna have a little bit more, if you take a look at this open interest, these are gonna control about uh, 300,000 shares, 500,000 shares, 600,000 shares. This is not even going to make a dent in uh, the actual short positions and the naked shorts that all of these institutions have taken out. And we can see on the volume that just even today, there is an extremely low amount of volume on these actual in the money costs. Now that's just the theoretical sense. We could actually be seeing all of these in the money contracts being traded in the dark pools and we just don't know about them, but it would be very hard to convince another broker to sell uh, another institution, a deep in the money uh, call option on a stock that has the potential to short short squeeze like we've never seen before. So that is the theoretical sense on why we could be seeing uh, this decrease in the fails to deliver. But I really don't think that is occurring due to there not being a lot of open interest on the option chain and not being a lot of volume across the board. So let's get into this 500 million share offering and what my opinions are on it, why AMC is choosing to do this or actually attempting to do this at the current time. So when we come over here, we can see that AMC stock slides after CEO discusses plans to seek approval to potentially issue more stock. Now in the morning, this potentially uh, language was completely left out. Uh, we can see if we come back over here, uh, we take a look at the news for uh, AMC. We can see that AMC Entertainment to issue 500 million shares for Seeking Alpha. AMC Entertainment to Purdue, uh, pursue 500 million share or offering stock falls 5.3%. And none of these articles that came out in this morning, did they say that this was a potential offering? So this is a little bit of uh, manipulation, I think, going on where these news outlets are wildly misrepresenting the news. If you uh, understand what is actually going on, there's a shareholder meeting that is going to be happening on May 4th and this is going to give investors the right to vote on if this 500 million dollar offering is actually going to go into effect now the reason why AMC might want to do this at the current time is that they are burning a lot of cash so therefore assuming six months of 140 million in cash burn and three months of 100 million in cash burn until Q4 AMC will burn up 1.04 billion so they are trying to stay afloat at the current time. The company is burning about $140 million a month, and they see that this offering at the current prices that AMC is trading at is going to benefit the company long term. So there are going to be a couple of schools of thought for this. If you guys are in AMC for the long haul and you are perfectly fine with holding uh, your shares until this short squeeze happen for one, two, maybe even three years, if all of these institutions are able to figure out how to not uh, have this squeeze, then this is actually good. If they are able able to get more cash, open up more theaters, and even do some acquisitions. We saw their actual ac uh, purchase uh, and their partnership coming up with Cinedime, where AMC might be getting into the streaming service market. This could be great for AMC in the long term, but a dilutive share offering in the short term is going to hurt a lot of people. Now, we did see today that the stock fell about 8.4% uh, at the time that I'm recording this video. So just that little piece of news that AMC could potentially do a 500 million share offering is sending the stock tumbling. So that is going to wrap up this update on AMC. In a brief summary, summary, we went over the 500 million share offering and, and just went over exactly why this is not the biggest deal. All of you as shareholders are going to be able to have your vote in this. Um, so if you guys want to vote no, you can make your voices heard and this 500 million share dilutive offering will not happen. We also went over these failure to deliver numbers, which suggests to us that sh uh, naked short selling is still occurring in the market. But in my opinion, this data is being misrepresented 
moment as we've seen with all of the other short interest data and the dark pool data and the OTS non, uh, OTC non-ATS data that's come out. And there's a lot of wacky things going on with AMC. And I do think that there is still a very strong possibility that this is going to be the biggest squeeze that we see in our lifetime. So that is going to conclude this update on AMC. If you guys enjoyed the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button and turn on that notification bell once you hit that subscribe button so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and see exactly which offer uh, options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So I hope you guys were able to have a really profitable day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.